Hi, this is Theo from Packablogs.com. Today I'm going to review this book called Barcelona Original by Lapan. Lapan is an illustrator and a very prolific urban sketcher. This is just one of his many sketchbooks. If you want to check out his other sketchbooks, I have actually reviewed some of them on my YouTube channel as well as on my blog. The links will be in the video description so you can visit the links to see his other sketchbooks. Now this was released this year. If you do not know, this is his second Barcelona sketchbook. He has an earlier one which was released a few years ago. The content in these two books, they are roughly the same. But with the new book, there are some new sketches. The sketches that were drawn last year in 2015. The thickness of these two books, they are roughly the same. The new book has 120 pages. The corners are still rounded and as you can probably see the pages in the new book, they are trimmed black. And the other main difference is this is in Spanish and this new book is in English. So let's take a look at what's inside. So just behind the cover there is a map, a locator map showing all the locations that Lapan has uh, went to. And all these numbers here, they are actually uh, labels. You can see some of these pages, they have numbers here. So these are the places where you can find um, these uh, subjects. Now this map is a bit different compared to the earlier map. So some locations are new. However, some locations are actually dropped. So um, I can see that some sketches were missing from uh, this new book. But of course, there are new sketches added. So all the text, all the Spanish text has been replaced by English text. Another thing that I notice is the arrangement order of the sketches. They are, they are different from the earlier book. And not just that, you can see the color correction that has been done. So the pages here, they are more yellow, but the hit pages here, they, I think they have been color corrected to make the pages look a bit whiter, a bit cooler. So I'm not actu actually sure which one I prefer. These are still um, sketches that he has drawn on his accounting books. You can see the horizontal and vertical lines. I'm not sure of the original color of the pages on the accounting books, um, but maybe it's warm or maybe it's cool, I'm not too sure. Let's take a closer look at his sketches. So these are very beautiful watercolor sketches. He likes to draw with those technical pens and you can see some of the sketches, they have really uh, pretty interesting distortion, fish eye effect. And he's a very neat uh, illustrator. He connects all his lines. And sometimes it, when he cannot fit the subject, onto the page, he would just distort the subject. For example, tall buildings that cannot fit into the pages, he may actually bend some of the, for example, this building here, he may actually bend the taller towers to fit into the page, which is quite interesting. This color scheme that he uses is a bit more subtle, a bit lighter, so he does not use a lot of intense color. I'm actually quite surprised that those old accounting books, they actually um, handle watercolor quite well. I wonder if those pages, um, if they actually buckle when you apply uh, washes over them. So there are a lot of interesting notes that you can read. So all these places are in Barcelona. I have actually went to some of the places and this is a really beautiful city. I can actually just stop at any junction and just draw all the buildings. There are so many interesting th things there to draw.
Some of these uh, characters that you see are actually other urban sketches. This is the interior of Sagrada Familia, the church. So as you look at the sketches, um, if you want to know where that place is, just uh, take note of the number. So if you want to visit the place, you can actually do so. This sketch was drawn just this year, so that's a very new sketch from 2016. This was drawn in 2012 2012 as well, so let me flip over to the last few pages and see if there are any new sketches This was drawn in 2015 To actually have a sketchbook that are that's filled with so many sketches, 120 pages of sketches. It's really incredible. And as I've said earlier, he's a very prolific sketcher. This is just one of his many sketchbooks. So you can imagine how many sketchbooks he have actually he has actually filled on his own. And sketches that are not actually published. That's all for my book review today. This is a wonderful sketchbook. I will post a link to my text review and on my text review you can find links to where you can buy this book. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.